So we've left Bruges and our little parking spot there, which worked out really well. And we are heading down the motorway towards Ghent. found a little place on an app halfway between Bruges and Ghent um, with apparent services so we can empty the loo and do a few essential bits that is all part of van life and then tomorrow we're gonna go and explore the town of Ghent mm. which is apparently amazing and everyone's told us we have to go to Ghent what I find fascinating and I don't know whether it's law it's not fascinating it's horrific no, it's horrific, but it, I don't understand, but 75, maybe even more, 80% of people that are driving past us in this slow moving traffic are texting. They're texting. And I'm sure it, oh, I just heard a skid. Yeah. That's <laughs> I'm sure it must be against the law in Belgium as well, but everybody seems to be texting crazy it must be law so we've had all day <laughs> to drive to ghent and for some reason we lost track of time and we just decided to do it in rush hour <laughs> yeah but we're getting lots of waves and toots and like yeah. nice happy laughs. but yeah the traffic is very busy successful and lovely day in Bruges we heard that Ghent was very similar but on a larger scale it's a huge university town there's lots of fashion industry businesses um, and just generally it's a much 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 bigger city so um, we've been wandering around for about half an hour we found the center of the, of the town because we got a little we bit did lost. Get lost we got lost <laughs> and uh, in a brown paper bag. In fact, Chris may have caught my disease. Um, but now we're back in the uh, centre of Ghent and the historical architecture, which you can see behind me. Behind me just there is one of many. It's a stunning, stunning city. And uh, even though it's a little bit greyer today than it was when we visited Bruges, we are having a lovely wander around town. It's beautiful, old medieval town. And uh, we're off to try and find the Tourist Information Centre to see if we can find some lovely places to show you guys. information from the girls in the Ghent tourist office and they're my kind of girls because they're eating cake and they are fabulous so say hello to these girls Ta -da! Is it Ghent? Is it Ghent? Is it Ghent? so in case you're looking for the tourist information center in Ghent it is right next to the castle the building behind me and one of the other things you need to be aware as you're walking around Ghent is the trams there are trams everywhere and uh, just be aware when you're walking on the road when you're crossing the road look out for trams and bikes because you don't want to get run over another beautiful square have a look at this sweets that are produced in Belgium and here in Ghent. Um, they're a little jelly triangle. Um, 
they look really good. I think I might have to get some. All right, good afternoon, welcome. So uh, you're looking at one of the local specialties of Ghent. We call these the Ghent Noses. It's uh, one of the local specialties of the city of Ghent itself, in the city centre. We've been making these for nearly 300 years in Ghent. It was developed by a pharmacist two streets away. And basically what are they made of? Raspberry, strawberry, violets, all together baked in the oven with one key ingredient called Goma Arabica. It comes from the acacia tree. It's a resin. It comes from the other side of the world, from basically from Sudan. But we've been using these uh, of this ingredient for nearly three centuries. We bake it in the oven at a very low temperature. It goes into the oven for nearly three days and crystallizes during the baking process. Obviously very low temperature in the oven, low and slow and just melts away like butter in your mouth. Uh, young lady, so you're the tester Thank and you. uh, young man you've got one here waiting for you. I'm actually a lover of everything jelly so this is a big test. Go for it. Raspberry, strawberry, violets, all coming. Quite good, mm. huh? Mm. Mm. It's got like a firm sugary outer coating, and then inside it's a really rich, soft, flavoursome jelly with all the flavours. It's absolutely delicious, and we're going to have to blow some budget because it's absolutely gorgeous well so we call these the Kent noses because of their specific shape and in French we call them cuberdons so you could find them in other places in Belgium but but that's a big but we're renowned for it in Ghent specifically this place for it the little cart we've been here for many many years we're renowned for it because we make them ourselves and the whole idea would be that the moment you're biting it they just melt away wow. enjoy Amazing. it Come to Ghent and try this local speciality. Anyway, enough filming, let's eat. vibe here in Ghent. It's really nice, there's loads of students buzzing around and um, everybody's really super friendly and I, I just really like Ghent. It's, it's a lovely town, the architecture is colossal, it's just everywhere. Ghent has certainly got the architecture and in fact if you're looking to find a belfry there is one right behind me there so that is the belfry and if you're looking for a cathedral just behind me over here there is the cathedral look at that even though it's a huge city you can still find lots close together so if you're short for time you can still fit it all in Spending a day in Bruges yesterday and today walking around Ghent. I know there's a lot of, you know, uh, talk about which one's more suitable for tourists or which one's the better town to come to. And um, there's no doubt Bruges is busier with tourists mm. and Ghent isn't. So it's quite nice walking around where it's not quite so busy. But um, what do you think? If you've been to both of them, which one, if you had to come to one, which one would you come to? Because they're both beautiful. So, uh, so pop a comment below and let us know which one you think. Come to Brussels and eat this. This is Brussels. Mm. We're Ghent. Sorry, cut. cut. Again. <laughs> people ask us um, what we do for water, toilets, everything else. We're really lucky because Trudy comes with a really nice beautiful toilet um, with a sea to cover everything. It's really comfortable and it's got a sealed unit that so all the waste goes into this unit. Um, and
and on one of my apps it actually tells you where places there are to, to deliver waste and how to get rid of waste, water, electric if you need it. So this is a very typical one. It's basically, you unscrew that, you do that, you open the waste port, you tip your waste down in the hole and then afterwards you just wash it all down and you can wash your unit out with this tap. That's how we do it. I don't know if you actually want me to see, want to see me do it. No need. <laughs> I don't think so.